So in this video, we are going to learn how to find the equation of a circle passing through three points. We have a question here. Let's try to solve this question. Find the equation of a circle passing through the points A, 1, 1, B, 2, 2, and then C, 3, negative 2. Find the equation of the circle passing through the points A, B, and then C. Let's solve this problem or this question together. Now we know that the general equation of a circle is given by x square plus y square plus 2jx plus 2fy plus c equals 0. And then for any point P, x, y, we are going to substitute the values of the coordinates into the general equation of a circle. So for point A, 1, 1, we are going to substitute 1 and 1 in place of x and y in this equation. So we have 1 square plus 1 square plus 2j times 1 plus 2f times 1 plus c equals 0. So basically what you are trying to do is to form three equations using the points a, b, and c. Then we can find the value of j, f, and then c to form the equation of the circle that passes through all these three points. Let's simplify this equation. 1 square is 1. 1 square is also 1. We have plus 2j times 1 is 2j plus 2f plus c equals 0. Now 1 plus 1 is 2. We transpose that to the right hand side. So we have 2j plus 2f plus c equals negative 2. Let's call this equation 1. Now for b, which is 2, 2. Let me confirm that. Okay, that is 2, 2. So also we have 2 square plus 2 square plus 2j times 2 plus 2f times 2 plus c equals 0. 2 square is 4. So we have 4 plus 4 plus 4j plus 4f plus c equals 0. 4 plus 4 is 8. We transpose that to the right hand side. We have 4j plus 4f plus c equals negative 8. Let's call this equation 2. Now for the third one, which is C, we have 3, negative 2. So for C, 3, negative 2. That's also going to be 3 square plus negative 2 square plus 2J times 3 plus 2F times negative 2 plus C equals 0. 3 square is 9. Negative 2 square is 4 plus 6j minus 4f plus c equals 0. 9 plus 4 is 13. So we have 6j minus 4f plus c equals negative 13. Let's call this equation 3. So here we have three equations. We need to solve them simultaneously to find the values of j, f, and then c. Now from equation 1, we have the coefficient of j and then f to be 2, 2. And then for equation 2, we have the coefficient of j and then f to be 4, 4. So we can multiply equation 1 by 2 so that the coefficient becomes 4, 4. Then we can use the method of elimination and then we can do away with j and then f so that we can find the value of c. So we say that multiply equation 1 by 2. So this becomes we have 2 times 2j plus 2f plus c equals negative 2. So 2 times 2j is 4j. This becomes 4f plus 2c 
equals negative 4. Let's call this equation 4. So we say that equation 4 minus equation 2. Okay, so equation 4 is 4j plus 4f plus 2c equals negative 4 minus equation 2 that is 4j plus 4f plus c equals negative 8 so this is equation 2 so by subtracting 4j minus 4j is 0 4f minus 4f is also 0 2c minus c is c and then negative 4 minus negative 8 is the same as negative 4 plus 8 this is equal to 4 therefore the value of c is equal to 4 now looking at equation 2 the coefficient of f is 4 and then from equation 3 the coefficient of f is negative 4 so if you should multiply equation 3 by negative 1 then the coefficient of f becomes 4 then we can cancel out 4f and then 4f and then we can find the value of g because we already know the value of c so multiply equation 3 by negative 1 so negative 1 times equation 3 6j minus 4f plus c equals negative 13 this becomes negative 6j plus 4f minus c equals 13 let's call this equation 5 now since we have equation 5 then we say that equation 2 minus equation 5 so equation 2 is 4j plus 4f plus c equals negative 8 that is equation 2 and then equation 5 is negative 6j plus 4f minus c equals 13 so let's subtract the two equations 4j minus negative 6j is 10j 4f minus 4f is 0 c minus negative c is the same as c plus c which is 2c this is equal to negative 8 minus 13 is negative 21 now we know that the value of c is 4 so we substitute that into this equation so we have 10j plus 2 times 4 equals negative 21 10j equals negative 21 minus 2 times 4 is 8 so it goes here and then it becomes negative 8 so 10j is equal to negative 29 we divide through by 10 and then we have the value of j to be negative 29 over 10 now let's find the value of f to do so we are going to substitute j that is the value of j and then the value of c into any of the equations so let's do that for equation 1 so for equation 1 or from equation 1 we have 2j plus 2f plus c equals negative 2 j is negative 29 over 10 plus 2f c is 4 equals negative 2 2 goes here once 2 goes here 5 times so we have negative 29 over 5 plus 2f plus 4 equals negative 2 2f equals let's transpose negative 29 over 5 and then 4 to the right hand side so we have negative 2 minus 4 plus 29 over 5 this is equal to we have 2f equals negative 6 plus 29 over 5 so we need to find the LCM so the LCM between 1 and 5 is 5 5 divided by 1 is 5 
5 times negative 6 is negative 30. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And then 1 times 29 is 29. So this becomes 2f equals negative 1 over 5. So we cross multiply. We have 10f equals negative 1. We divide through by 10. And then we have f to be equal to negative 1 over 10. So this is the value of f. So we have g to be negative 29 over 10. We have f to be negative 1 over 10. And then we have c to be 4. We are going to substitute these values into the general equation of a circle. So we have x squared plus y squared plus 2gx. G is negative 29 over 10. X plus 2f negative 1 over 10. Y plus c, which is 4 equals 0. 2 goes here once. 2 goes here 5 times. 2 goes here once. 2 goes here 5 times. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 29 over 5x minus 1 over 5y plus 4 equals 0. Now because we want to do away with the fraction, we multiply each term by 5. So multiplying each of the terms by 5, this becomes 5x squared plus 5y squared minus 29x minus y plus 20 equals 0. So the equation of a circle that passes through the points a, b, and c is giving us 5x squared plus 5y squared minus 29x minus y plus 20 equals 0.